Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is Vig here and this is my first FIFA 21 video and this is going to be the best teams to use in career mode. Guys, don't ask where I've been for the past few months because I've honestly been like kind of busy with like a lot of things like university and life and things like that in general. So like sorry for the shit recent uploads because I know like in the last video and the videos before like people have been asking like where have you gone? Now that I've got like a few weeks on my time and like some time, I decided to make this video for you guys. You guys know how this shit works. There's going to be five five teams from the Europe's top five leagues Italian Spanish German and the French and also the English league but anyway let's just get into it and guys the first team I'm going to be covering is AC Milan my beloved Milan to be honest this season guys it's been so good like as you know like Milan's at the top of the league and it's not just because it's due to Ebro and as you can see in the squad most players are like 22 to 25 and Milan has a younger squad in the top five leagues so as you can see Ebro 39 beast but Chalhanoglu this season Season and towards the end of last season to decided to come back into his actual form you know the money that we paid him for and Kessia and the Benacera midfield have been unreal over on the left we have Rebic and on the right Salamaker Salamaker's a young Belgian talent that we signed him from Anderlecht and left back Theo Hernandez what a bargain and Kier guys has been one of the best defenders not just for Milan because when we signed him no one really expected Kier to be this good but yeah Simon Kier next to Romagnoli the captain both have been really good and and on the right, we have Calabria, 23 years old, as you can see, and Donnarumma, both players from the Milan Primavera. Moving on to the bench, guys, we have Brahim Diaz, another loanee from Real Madrid. He's going to be there for a season, but 21 years old. And next to him, also another young prospect, Liao. Both of these players in real life and in the game, really good. Liao's got the dribbling and pace, and Brahim's got the dribbling and agility. Also, we have some other few good players. Standout, Sandro Tonali. He's going to be battling out for the spot in midfield with Kessie and Benacer. We also have Castillejo and Hans Peter Hauger. Hauger, we signed him from a club that we played against in the Europa League. And because he was so good, next day, say no more. He's a Milan player now. But hopefully, guys, in the future, we signed Holland and him and Holland could be like a really good duo. And looking at the rest of the squad, guys, there are like a couple of good other young players, notably Gabia. He should be higher than 67 because he's been a regular in the team. He's been playing way more than Musacchio and he's actually pretty good as well. And of course, Maldini's son, Daniel Maldini. And yeah, he's a central attacker mid as you guys know there are other loanies Dalo and Duarte isn't that good in the game I guess you could keep him as a reserve player you know whenever like someone gets injured Colombo put him on training because he's 18 and he's gonna grow further Kronic you, I guess you could sell him one of the weak links and Kalulu in real life he shouldn't be 66 should be at least 73 because whoever that's watching Syria and stuff would know like why he should be a bit high every time he's played he's looked so solid so yeah guys that's pretty much it for Milan um if you guys want to improve the team, one area you could look at is the centre back, Kier. Even though he was really good in real life, like he's 31, so you could like look at another option that could, you know, for the long term. But that's it, and we move on. Next up, guys, we fly out to Spain and we cover Getafe. As you can see, um, they have really good squad, but the only thing is, um, most of the players are kind of old. So like, this is a perfect team to work on. As you can see, right off the bat, you get really good players. I mean, Hernandez, 21 years old and 83 pace, good shooting, and on the left side we have the former Barca man Cucurella he's a left back that can also play left mid 22 and already 81 so that's really good the left back as well guys Olivier 77 rated at the age of 23 but the left side is not what you really need to worry about it's mainly on the right side even though there are like decent players like Suarez but he's 32 and Neo is 32 as well so to replace the right side you need younger players and also the center back this guy I'm pretty sure he's like five foot nine or something really good rating and stuff but he's another player that's like 28 as well and his partner Rodriguez isn't that good either and the other options aren't really exactly exciting but the midfield is one area that's not too bad but these two players are too much defensive minded so if you guys want to play a different formation with more attacking minded you guys want to look at players like that so it's another area to improve and striker you definitely need to improve because um i don't know about you guys i would never play with a 69 rated pace because honestly i'm not trying to lose here and soria the last time i played with this goalkeeper he's actually unreal so keep soria in net but yeah moving on to the substitutes pretty much everyone is like in their late 20s or you know early 30s so that's one area as i said like just to improve on but unal i don't know if he's there on loan or if he's their actual player but he should play because i remember in the old fifas he had really good potential and i guess he's only 23 
but once again I just realized his pace is actually shocking so so I wouldn't play him really looking at the reserve guys I guess there are like few decent youngsters we have a 72 rated Palaversa um, 20 years old I think he's got the long passer trait and things like that so yeah he's already got good traits so like he could develop into a good midfielder if you like training proper and rest of the players guys you get is the typical like you know low rated youngsters that you don't know if they're gonna be good or not but with the dynamic potential I guess you guys could like rinse that so yeah guys that's it for Getafe next up guys we go over to Germany and the team we're gonna cover is Borussia Mönchengladbach and as you can see straight away like the team's kind of good on its own anyway like there's not much things that you really need to improve on but the thing is you gotta compete with Bayern and Borussia Dortmund as typical and Gladbach's been doing really good in the Champions League this season anyway so it could be another team you guys could take on and win the Champions League and you know beat Bayern and Dortmund with straight away we get Zakaria and CDM what a beast as you can see look at the stats 85 physical 83 pace pretty much you, he can do pretty much anything and next to him we have this guy I've seen him in real life dribbling and passing really good four star weak foot as well so really good on a midfielder but one area that you could improve is the center attacking mid as you can see Stindl is only 32 and you can definitely get a better center attacking mid there and over on the right we have Herman but Valentina Lazaro should be playing there because he's a beast 81 pace but in real life honestly looks like he's gone 90 and over on the right side I guess this is another area you could improve even though he's a good player as you can see 80 pace 80 physical 28 you don't know how long he's gonna go Lang just looks slow how old is he oh fuck he's also 58 pace so I love this guy on over on the left we have this guy 25 years old 80 physical seems good 71 pace I don't know if you face Ronaldo if he's gonna get murdered but that's another thing you guys have to worry about and in Bolo you know the potential god he could also come off while Alessandro play um, the top scorer in the Champions League right now um, things could change who knows but yeah over on the bench we have youngster he's not that good he's 30 although the team's really good and you can pretty much beat most teams if you're good like there are areas that you need to like you know strengthen which are the old players that are like in the late 70s but 29 years old like as you can see this guy we don't want average players we want youngsters on the team you know how career mode rolls and if you don't want to really buy another essential attack in mid and keep it more realistic you can put wolf instead of standal there and like you know grow him up he's got full star skills 21 years old the typical cam rating 78 pace 77 dribbling so he could be really good for you other youngsters are Benyes he's 73 23 years old and looking at the reserves it's just like the other thing where like a lot of 60 rated players that are like 21 28 Dakura had good potential back in the days but I don't know what happened now and we move on guys next up guys we cover West Ham and we I chose West Ham because in real life they've spent a lot of money on a lot of players but like I know they're really you know starting to find their form in this season but they need to be doing better with like you know the project that they had in mind so that's what you guys are gonna do they already have good players already uh, Pablo for now so I don't know why he's a left mid he should be a cam but he's a good creative player there and in the middle we have Declan Rice and Solchek good defensive minded players that you know you could break up the midfield and over on the right personally I would buy someone else because even though it's 23 and decent rating you could find a better option for example Snodgrass no I'm just kidding now nah, fuck Snodgrass we're putting someone pacey down there so that's another option Yarmolenko had decent potential but like he's 31 so he's not anywhere gonna be seen and with the five at the back formation guys you guys could easily switch that up and play around with the players in the bench Lanzini I think he's still injured I don't know I don't follow West Ham that much but Lanzini is another good player but looking at his ratings he's kind of decreased 78 he should be much higher as well like just because he's injured I think FIFA gets an allergic reaction to things like that but anyway um, over on the bench Noble he's 35 I thought he retired by now 33 even and Dior play this guy if you want to win aerial duels like 90% of the time play this guy and Cresswell someone small as him I don't know why he's playing um, the other part of the center back if you West Ham fans might know why like well let me know Masaoko I know a lot of players rate him but this is FIFA we're talking 27 years old old and 77 rated so a lot of things to do guys um, mainly the striker I know a lot of people don't play with 70 pace or like and that's with the plus four actually so I know a lot of players don't actually play with players like Harlow as a target forward but Anthony is also old even though he's kind of PC so yeah that's another area you guys could work on and Ben Rama another good player on the left wing you could put four, four now in central attacking mid and him on the left side 
and someone else guys on the right side not Yarmolenko not Snodgrass or Bowen like just someone else please and over in the reserve we have another legend Dawson okay he's not really a legend but he's there um, and Johnson and all these other players that you know West Ham has which I'm not gonna lie I have no idea who they are but like I haven't heard of them that much but yeah when you straight away pick the team you get like a more defensive minded team and you'll have fun changing around the teams and you know trying to get them to the top and guys, the last team I'm going to cover is Tart Hones. And as you can see, they have a lot of good young players. And notably, straight away, Kamavinga, the player that Real Madrid wants to sign. 18 years old, 78 rated. One of the best midfielders that you can get in the game. And with Tart Hones, you just like get it naturally, as you guys know. Next to him, here's Anzonzi and this guy. And Anzonzi's 31, so replace that fuck. And replace him with someone else that's like, you know, defensive minded, maybe like an NDD. No, I'm just kidding. Someone that you, you guys could afford. Board. and this guy this striker i would replace him with someone else niang he's still 25 thought he was like 30 by now but niang's still there i guess you guys could play with him he can win headers you know dribble pass players and i'm pretty sure this guy played for Lyon. i'm not sure but yeah he's another player that's there 84 pace good age as well that you guys could work with but yeah guys overall we have musafa 77 rated 22 years old 24 and this guy is 70 rated someone else that you could get in daniela rogani i didn't even realize he was in start rent but you get rogani as well the only areas you guys need to really improve on is the center back because this guy's 32 77 and the replacement that we have yes he's 24 and 70 but 70 isn't the you know overall you want at that age so center back is one position and also the right back you could make Traore into like a second backup option and get like a young player that's really good you know so you can train up the overall someone that would be higher rated than Traore in the future because right now his backups are like soppy which is kind of fucked in goal we have Gomez 27 years old but um i'm pretty sure he just looks bored like you need someone else in there for goalkeepers i guess it's okay if you don't replace the position straight away but it's actually good to have like a young goalkeeper you know just about there to unleash everything and also guys if i were you i'd play this guy over on the right compared to castillo because look at that pace do i even need to say anything i'm just gonna just leave that pace and skill moves right there and just move on slowly and also this quad looks like they have a lot of depth as well even though dalbert's a left mid he can play left back because originally he was a left back the Brazilian that played for Inter Merda, um, 27 years old, 73. Yes, he's not that good, but for the first season, you guys have good depth in the squad. And also, guys, in the reserve, there are other useful players. For example, this guy, center mid, 73 rated. He's only 24. He could be your, you know, backup player. And this guy looks like someone that could turn into a beast because of the five star weak foot and he's only 18 so who knows with training what he could get up to same with this guy 77 pace straight away and he could also turn into another beast as well and over in the bench guys you could put Genaras instead of Hauno because you know he's younger and he's got better stats anyway but yeah guys that's it for this video thanks for watching i know my approach schedules are all over the place and i don't want to promise anything but now that i've got time um after my uni and everything like i can make few videos so yeah thanks for the constant support like even to this time and i'm actually shit at kind of like expressing that because any i know everyone says it but i'm genuinely like even you guys like keep saying oh where are the videos and things like i didn't think people would still keep tabs on my channel after being you know inconsistent and gone for so long but yeah guys um you guys commenting stuff like that is what makes me like upload again and again so thanks for that guys anyway i hope to see you in the next video take care stay safe and peace out